Hey everyone, I'm making another video about this DMC3XL from Disaster Designs MIDI Controller. I've had a question about how to set the CC mode. So that's what I'm going to do today. If I use the CC mode by controlling the tuner and the flex button on my pitch factor. If I click the right button, tuner activates. Left button, it's the flex or learn button on the pitch factor. So let me show you how to set that. First of all, let's get the DMC3 XL set up for CC mode. So we start by just you know, unplugging it, turn it back on. And then when the words start scrolling, hold down the front two buttons. And that will take you to the setup mode. There's a lot of modes. The CC mode is towards the end, so I'm going to go left to CC channel. CC channel. This is where I'll start. And this will set uh, what channel or what device the CC mode talks to. Click the middle button. I'm talking to my device A. The pitch factor is my A device. I'm not doing anything with my space because the buttons are up front. And it's easier to access. Click the middle button again. CC11, this sets the type of control that the left button is going to do. You have momentary. You have bank up, bank down, note, one shot, and toggle. Uh, for, for what I need, it's going to be a momentary switch for both of them. So momentary, MOM, that's what we'll need. Turn that back off. Next button is the control value for the left button. I have set it to 82. Remember that number, that will be important. 82, Quebec. Um, the control function of the right button, that, or the control type. Same thing, it's going to be a momentary, set to momentary. You do that because it's only, it's like the AUG switches, auxiliary switches for even type products. They are, they're all momentary based, so that's what they need to be at. <coughs> then I set the control value of the right button. The last one was 82, this one's 81. Another number to remember. And you just got to make sure that number of the numbers could be anything. You can change it to be lower or less. You just want to make sure it's not one of the numbers that the DMC is already using for something else. And then that's it. It's just that simple. The rest of what you'll need to do is, is the setup that will be on the pitch factor. So let me turn this or reset it by holding the middle button that saves it. Now it's back on. Now let's go to the pitch factor. We're going back in the MIDI menu. Where are we at? Okay, so we're at the MIDI menu. All this stuff has been set. You can look at, watch my other video to be to show you how to set this other functions. Where I'm going to is I missed it, is the receive control function. And this is where I'll be setting the left and right button. So if you remember. I first set the left button, and I'm going to be programming it to be the middle flex button on my pitch factor. Flex. See? Flex. And I have it already set. It's at C82, or whatever number you pick. So it's 82. Uh, next, I'll set my other button, and I'm going to be programming my tuner. My tuner. So we'll push the right arrow, right button to change the direction of the arrow, and then you can set it to whatever value you need. And remember, I have that at 81, and that's it. Those are the two functions that I programmed it with. So let me exit out of that and exit out of the menu. And then you can just go back to the CC mode, and then it should be working. And it shows you the value, 81, and that turns on the tuner. There you go. Turn it back off. The left button is my flex or learn button. I have it on a on the H910 slash eight nine forty nine setting. So on this one, on the pitch factor, it makes it do infinite repeats. So there you go. And now it's set. So that's how you program the CC mode. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that clarified some questions for some of you guys out there. Comment if you have any more questions. For more ideas for videos, that would be helpful for some of you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks. Bye.